With planned startup of the surface water treatment plant on February 1st, the disinfection process conversion from chlorine to chloramines begins on January 17th for the existing Siena, Mustang, and Vicksburg groundwater treatment plants. This disinfection process has been used for years by other Texas cities, including Houston. All of Siena Plantation will receive their potable water from the new surface water plant. Beginning on January 17th, the following Missouri City residents will continue to receive their potable water from groundwater, but it will be disinfected using chloramines. MUDs 47 and 48, which is Vicksburg, Sedona, and Olympia states, and the city's Mustang Bayou service area, which includes Creekmont, Lakeshore Harbor, Hightower High School, and the Fort Bend Town Center retail area. This process is similar to the disinfection process used at the new surface water plant in the event of a situation that would require that these residents receive water from the surface water plant. Southwest Water Company, contract manager for Vicksburg, and the city are notifying their respective customers. The water taste should not change. However, the change to chloramines can cause problems to persons dependent on dialysis machines. A condition known as hemolytic anemia can occur if the disinfectant is not completely removed from the water that is used for the dialysate. Consequently, the pretreatment scheme used for the dialysis units must include some means, such as a charcoal filter, for removing the chloramine prior to this date. Medical facilities should also determine if additional precautions are required for other medical equipment. In addition, chloraminated water may be toxic to fish. If you have a fish tank, please make sure that the chemicals or filters that you are using are designed for use in water that has been treated with chloramines. You may also need to change the type of filter that you use for the fish tank. Information was previously emailed to affected city HOAs. Information is on the website homepage and included on Missouri City Television. The week of January 10th, some residents in these subdivisions may see a temporary discoloration of tap water. Water lines are being flushed in preparation of the new disinfection process.